Welcome artists. Let's talk about our building boundaries unit. So boundaries are things that we have discussed before as physical boundaries. What are personal boundaries though? Personal boundaries could relate to physical contact. So maybe not hugging somebody you've just met. Verbal interactions, maybe not wanting somebody to speak down to you. Or privacy, choosing what you share and with whom. These personal boundaries could be related to your emotional well-being, the way that you want to feel. They could be related to your physical well-being, making sure that you are safe and your physical space is protected. They could be related to your workplace. So as a student, your ability to learn without interference or drama, your materials, things that belong to you and protecting them, or even your time, protecting the use or misuse of your time. If somebody wastes your time, that could be violating one of your personal boundaries. What are social boundaries though? So social boundaries are established social rules that are considered typical because most people in society agree that they're reasonable ways to live. For example, it is rude to burp in front of others in the United States. So what's tricky with social boundaries is they depend on what society, what group of people you are working within. Some social boundaries that are acceptable in your household might not be acceptable at school. Some social boundaries in the United States are perfectly fine in other countries or other cultures. This can also include the way we're expected to be treated under the laws of our country. So we have things that are legal or illegal, where in other countries or even other states, those laws are different. Your job for this assignment is to think about what boundaries you feel like are lacking in your life. You can consider boundaries within personal relationships and within society. You can also consider boundaries you need to set with yourself. So sometimes people waste their own time. Sometimes people put themselves in situations that subject them to um, negative thinking. So these are boundaries that you would set up because something is not going right within your life. Your challenge for this assignment is to create a three-dimensional clay sculpture of a social or personal boundary needed in your life. We're going to brainstorm using this worksheet. So on this worksheet, you're first going to start by writing out needed personal boundaries. So something that is needed in your life from a lack of a boundary and then needed social boundaries. Something within your society could be a small group like within your house or a larger group within um, our entire country, but a boundary that you think needs to be put into place. Then you will be sketching three of your best ideas from the eight that you write at the top of the table. Let's go ahead and take a look at what I wrote. So the examples you cannot copy because they are my examples. So I definitely look forward to some privacy in the bathroom, believe it or not. As a parent, my kids walk in on me in the bathroom and will talk to me and ask me things, no problem. I would also like my own personal space, my bedroom to be kept all by myself. I hate coming home to find stuffed animals in my bed. Those are not mine. I would like some time by myself, alone, to not have to answer questions or get anybody juice. And my physical safety is sometimes at risk. My two-year-old is a hitter. In fact, he stabbed me in the nose with a fork. A plastic fork, but a fork nonetheless. Some social boundaries that I think would be very important are one, that everyone recycles correctly. That was my example. I strongly dislike when people put trash in the recycle bin. But I'd also like to see equal rights for women and equal representation of women within our political system.
I think we should have civil conversations, especially with politics. We just resort to calling each other names instead of actually talking about issues. There needs to be more respect for teachers. You can guess why I would say that. And I think moms should have an equal share of housework along with dads or other partners in the household because as a mom, I feel very overworked. To move on to sketches, let's go ahead and switch over to the actual paper version because it's a whole lot easier to draw on. So here's my brainstorm worksheet. These are the ideas that I've talked about um, for the writing part. I need to pick my best ones. What I decided to go with um, was to sh show how I'd like to protect my physical safety. So I need to consider how I'm showing this boundary as a 3D sculpture. It could be literal or figurative. So my literal defense from my two-year-old who stabs me with a fork could be a lot like a goalie helmet. But in fact, on the side, I might write the fork defender to show that I'm protecting my face from incoming fork attacks. Second of all, thinking about that equal share of housework that I would like to have in my household, I've got two figures here, male and female, because that's how my household is run. And they have a box balanced both on their shoulders to show that they're equally carrying that weight. Last but not least, I've got the toilet here to show that my personal space on the toilet is protected by this gigantic cage around it. Now that I've sketched these things out, I should consider which one is my best idea and think about how I'd make that out of clay. Looking at a cage out of clay, I'm thinking that's a terrible idea. While I look forward to sculpting a toilet, I don't think it's going to work. So it comes down to these two. I think this one's too simple to get me a good grade. So I'm going to work with this concept. The back of your worksheet has four different views. Front view, side view, back view, and top view. Because if you can't figure out how these things look on paper before you start, you're going to have a heck of a time sculpting them. Only the front view is required for color. I want to see how you plan to eventually paint this sculpture. The others do not require color for your grade. If you would still like to color them, you may though. So here's what I came up with for mine. I went ahead and decided to put my two figures, my male and female figures, back to back instead. And the box of their workload is going to be balanced on their backs between them. And I'm just going to keep them very um, vague and one will be pink and one will be blue to symbolize that the male and the female are sharing that housework equally. I had originally thought about writing housework and childcare on the side, but instead I'm going to put things like laundry or cleaning or um, mail and paperwork, all those things drawn there. You can see my different views mostly change, but sometimes they look very similar. So my back view would be my blue figure instead of my pink figure. But from above, which is how you're going to see your sculpture as you build it, it got significantly different. You need to figure out how these things look, and you're welcome to ask for help from a classmate or myself to do that before you can move on to doing anything with clay. So that is your ceramics boundary project and your brainstorm worksheet, go ahead and get started on finishing that paper.